Aloha everybody, it's Danielle with Love Gold Karma. Today we are making a very special soap. I have my soapy assistant over here, my daughter Amanda, and we are going to be making a supernatural inspired sigil soap. We are huge fans of Supernatural, the whole family is, and it is the last season, very sad. sad. So we are going to be making a soap inspired by the show, uh, to show our love of the show and our absolute crazed fandomness, if that's a word I don't even know. So we're going to be using a blend of oils and also in here, uh, it's a lye water and tussa silk, but there's also some beer. And if you watch the show, you certainly know why. We're also going to be using some fun colors. I'll let my soap assistant hand this to me. We're also going to be using some fun colors today to represent flannel. You're going to hand me, you're going to have, have a blue shocker. We're going to have Granny Smith green. And this is just a really nice uh, ruby red oxide. We're also going to be using some uh, shimmering dark gold, some sparkle plenty mica, some rock salts again if you are a fan you know why if not my daughter will be explaining why later and this very very cool sigil stamp that we got it's a is, am i right it's a possession warding it's an anti-possession warding anti-possession warding stamp very cool and we are going to be using because it seems very fitting the white sage and sea salt so salt and sage that seems right all right, let's get started. Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna be putting my lye, my water, my beer solution here down the stick blender, help with bubbles, giving it a little bit of a mix and then separating it off. Ooh, tap it up into these cool colors. All right, let's give this a whirl. this to you ma'am thank you my liege <laughs> okay so I'm gonna get stuff split into some containers after I tap this 700 times so I'm gonna split this off into three containers we're gonna leave some back for our base color I'm just gonna pour this as I go I'm I'm winging it I'm just winging it and as I mix the colors in because they're all dispersed already in oil I dispersed all my oils and mica. I'm gonna put a good amount in here so that the color pops in the base. What do you think, Soap Assistant? I think that's great. We have our three colors for our three main characters. That's and true. For all of their flannel looks, they've been rocking these 15 years. That's true, that's true. That looks about right, huh? Okay, is that about even? Is that about even, Steven? It looks good to me. Okay, I'm gonna put these two to the side. Can I have that paper towel? Because mm -hmm. I'm making a mess. All right, let's get that first color going. We shall start with red. All right, so we're gonna get this red in here and it's already all dispersed in oil. Gonna get it mixed in and I'm actually gonna mix it by hand just to give it more time to work with everything. And I'm gonna add the fragrance last. Before I mix everything, I'm gonna do that dead last. So do you wanna tell us a little bit about some of the main characters of the show or a little bit about the show? It is a fantasy show it's on the cw it actually began before the cw there was a cw uh it is i believe the longest running fantasy show on tv it features the adventures of demon hunting brothers sam and dean winchester and la, their la. angel friend yes. Cass. and uh dean seriously has a thing with beer so like you know, that's what what's something Dean, we can talk about, I guess, what each one of them like. I don't want to give people too many spoilers. If you have not seen this show, guys, go watch the show. It's so fun. But um, what's something would you say Dean's top three? Uh, obviously, Sam, Pie, and the Impala. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, he does love Pie and the Impala. So we got the red mixed in. I'm going to put this to the side and do the next one. Whichever color is fine, surprise Let's me. Do blue. Oh, blue. And then can you tell me a little bit about Sam 
the emoist Winchester. <laughs> Sam's hair is fabulous. That's true. That's true. That's absolutely true. Sam is a tall, glorious moose who yes. loves his brother and his laptop. And unfortunately, he lost his shoe many, many a year ago. Wow. I love this blue. I'm mixing this, this in. This is the blue shocker, and I'm trying to mix it right into here so I can make sure I get all of the blue because this is all the blue that's going in. I love the tiny cups. Yes. Aren't they fiddly and little? Just when you thought it couldn't get more obnoxious, there's tiny cups, tiny cups for tiny amounts of mica. All right, what do you think about that blue there? I think that is- Is that a good blue? vibrant and I love it. All right. All right, so there goes the blue. And now on to the green. And my soapy assistant will be telling you about character, main character number three, main dude. Uh, main character number three is Cass, who is my personal favorite. I know there are Sam girls and there are Dean girls, but. Excuse me, specializing. Go ahead. I choose option C. Um, Castiel is an angel of the Lord, and he has chosen to befriend Sam and Dean and take, uh, took their side during the apocalypse. And now as one does, as one, as one does. One of Go the ahead. family. <laughs> Go ahead. Getting all the green in. Are you having fun? Oh, I'm having so much fun. She what do you think of this green? Good green, darker green, what do you think? I like the green, it perhaps could be a little bit darker. All right, maybe we're gonna add some green before we add the main stuff. Let me put some, I got some more green back here. This is like a deeper Kelly green. I'm, I'm trying to get it just right, cause you know, flannel, flannel can be a challenge. It's, it's flannel, but it needs to be the right kind of flannel. A little deeper, a little darker. All right, and I just like to throw a little soap right back in there and then I mix it. Like I've already dispersed in the oil, but for this that I'm already, that I'm having to like remix. I just, ooh, a remix. I just throw back in there, remix. So I'm definitely gonna hit these just a little bit with the stick blender before we do the base and before we add the fragrance oil, just to make sure we've really got the colors where we want them. You really want to make sure it gets well and blended and it can be, you know, a little difficult by hand. So I'm going to grab the handy dandy stick blender. Thank you. Give it a quick zippity zap. With the green, I'm going to go green, blue, red. What do you think? You like that green? I like that green. Okay. There's some very nice flannelly green. Here's some lovely blue. Some Dean green. Some Dean green. Right. some blue that looks very nice and then there's not enough on here to make it purple so we're gonna hit the red here this is a really awesome red okay and hand me the container that way I don't get it messy so drippy drippy yes okay there you are. pop this off ta-da all right and for the base let me hand you that back we're gonna do the base before all of can I say all about that base without like getting a copyright strike? Are you, you, I don't know. I don't know. I would consult your lawyer. <laughs> I definitely need to Put consult my lawyer. Can I have the black? So for su surprise, spoiler alert, we're doing black, as I just said, for the base. Got some charcoal all dispersed here. Gonna dump it in and I am gonna, oh, that is crazy town. I'm gonna mix that with a spatula first. Make sure it gets nice and dark and gets all mixed in. May I have my spatula, please? My large spatula. This, oh, I'm sorry, whisk. I misspoke. May I have my, thank you. You may. You may, may have my large whisk. Oh, that is positively inky. I am loving it. I am adoring it. Okay, well, this is almost ready. We're just gonna add the fragrance oil and get pouring. Okay, so we're gonna add in the fragrance oil. This is the white sage and sea salt, which is just like, it's just like heaven. It's heavenly. Some in the black. Oh, it smells so good. Isn't it good? Some in the blue. All right, and some in the green, some in the red, a little bit everywhere. All right, this is all good. Get this out of the way. Got my 
my little work bucket. May I have a paper towel? Look at that. I have a, I have a soap assistant. You can be like, hand me a paper towel when I make a mess. Thank you. So we're going to be doing a what? We are going to be doing a swirl. A in the pot swirl. We sure are. Okay, so now we're going to do the in the pot swirl. We're just going to be throwing the colors in here. So excited. Putting them straight in the mold. Let's start with the blue. Are you going to pour one? I'm going to put a big amount of blue in here. I'm going to save some for the top, but some's going to go right in. I would love to pour one. I'm going to pour one. I'm going to put the red in there. I would love to put the red in there. So we're going to save a little bit back, though, because as we pour, it's going to come out. Go stir. And there we go. That's good. I'm going to save a bunch for the next pour and for the top. My child is an enthusiastic pourer. All right, I'm gonna give this a whirl. <laughs> She's looking at me like, really? All right, so we're gonna start pouring down the middle. It's gonna have a good amount of black here, but we're gonna add some color. Ooh, it's very wispy. So I'm gonna add some, I'm gonna stop and add some more color right away because it's all like sunken down. That black is nice and glossy. Yeah, let's do some, let's do a little bit down here. I'm gonna do a very thin line down there. Oh, am I doing it? Okay. And we're gonna pour some of the black that's already in there on top of it. It'll just be a, this, the tinesiest pop. The tinesiest? The tinesiest I'm pop sure of color. Word. It is, it's a, real, it's a real word. I'm gonna actually add a little bit of this as I go because it's, it's sort of showing, but not really. The black is really awesome, but I want some of the color to show in it. It's kind of hanging out there on the bottom, so I'm gonna put a little little bit of swirls in here. It's gonna get broken up so we can see it. And some blue. Just a couple of passes there. Ta-da! Some green. Glorious. We want to be able to see a little bit of the flannel. This is repping the flannel, so we want to see a little bit of the flannel. Okay, should I pour some more black in here? See, this is kind of coming out now on the bottom. I should pour a little bit more and break this yeah, up. Yeah, that's okay. It looks so pretty though. I like the way those pretty? colors look together. Look how that's mixing. Oh. Really subtle, and I love it. And I love it. We're gonna do some red through here. Of course, now I, I just gotta get crazy, right? I'm just do getting fancy with the technique. <laughs> I'm getting all fancy. I'm gonna save a little bit for the top, not a lot, but just a little. So when we do our spoon design, we have a little something, a little something going on. And then I'm gonna break this up with it's this. Looking good. Isn't that beautimous? Oh, wow. Ooh, I'm gonna break this up with our main color here. So you can see some of the colors coming out from the bottom now. They've kind of all sunk in there. Isn't that cool? It looks great. We are back and we're gonna design the top. Um, we're just getting everything scraped in here. Of course, this is trying to overflow. Get back there. Oh, no. Get back there. So, um, she's gonna design the top. My talented child here. It's a lot of responsibility. <laughs> and then let's 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 see what happens. I don't know. Go ahead. So shock, shock, and surprise, mommy. Let's. Oh, I like it. Oh, okay. I like it. How shocking do you want me to get? <laughs> super shocking. Super shocking. You always Ooh, do such pretty. a good job and make it so pretty. Thank you. Ooh, that's very pretty. It's my favorite part of her soaps, how she does the fancy tops. And if you need to add anything in there, if you want to put a little more blue or a little more green, you go for it because you are the design master today. Thank you, Bob Ross. <laughs> it's your world. That is, I think that's perfection. Me Look too. at that. All right, what is next? We shall do our rock salt. Oh, and actually, while you do the rock salt, you're gonna have to explain why rock salt and salt are like a big deal. So we do our salt circle to protect against ghosts and demons and all kind of other foul beasties. And if they tell you to stay in the salt circle, 
stay, stay in, in the, the salt, salt circle. circle. Yeah. Ah. <sighs> People. How you avoid being a first five minutes of supernatural statistic. <laughs> Do you think that's set up enough? For I our think salt? it's good. Just put a whole bunch there, um, uh, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more in one spot because a whole bunch will fall off while we are um, cutting. And then once we cut, we also have that really exciting stamp we're going to use. It's a surprise. It's. <laughs> It's, it's a surprise that we already showed you. Shh, surprise. It's the best kind of surprises. The one you already know about. I love it. Oh, that is so beautiful. I love it. Well, I want to thank everybody for joining me today with my super special Sobe guest, my daughter. And I will bring everybody down for a close-up, as I always do. And I will bring everybody back for the cutting and for the stamping of this soap. We are done for the day. It looks beautiful. Wow. That looks gorgeous. Look at that soap top. That is gorgeous. Well, until next time, glitter junkies, stay sparkly. Aloha. Aloha.